Sorry, it's not feeding time. The alpaca are all excited about food. This is the field with the great oak tree in it. And all the in-lamb yos are in here. And we're gonna be moving them out very soon to the shed because they're gonna start lambing in the middle of January. So here's all the uh, yos. and yo lambs. So yo lamb, yo lamb. These two are mother, daughter. She's a half-bred Zwartlas. Great white yoke is ancient, kind of a nanny. She's from my old flock, which was Suffolk Texel crosses. The rest of these are purebred Zwartlas sheep. And they are, uh, I have 15 of them that are in lamb, or at least I hope they're in lamb. I haven't scanned them, but some of them are looking very pregnant. And some of them, like Gorgeous, is not looking very pregnant. I'm just hoping you're gonna be one of the late lambers in February, not in January. But these are, um, this is a little bit. And this is red legs, a lamb, yo lamb from this last spring. But I had about 30 yos I lambed spring 2020. But due to no tour groups, I had to sell a large percentage of my flock just to pay for the usual kind of insurance and other bills. So this year I'm gonna be lambing Oh look, you've got a touch of scald, do you? This is um, Agapanthus. She'd be one of the older yos. Isn't that right? Hey sweetie, how are you? Her mother was a lovely yo called Fern, who I loved. One of the first pedigrees that I got, really, really beautiful pedigree yo. Was the first one, they were all, they're all pedigrees that I bought but it was one of the best ones and most expensive ones I bought was her mother. And then somebody offered me silly money for her. So I sold her, but I kept her daughter. So you're not too lame. You're not too lame, are you? This is Becky. She looks like she's in lamb. She's had some really good yos. Uh, one of my favorite yos of hers sadly died this last spring with her first lambs was Dove. Uh, the dogs are having a bit of a set to up there. You two chill. So this is Becky. Over there, this is Bizu. Whoopsie daisy. The dogs are, yeah, Bizu, how are you? A bit stiff and elderly. B is alphabetically, the pedigree is um, you, every year you have a letter so that you know what, how old they are. So she's older than Bizu or where's Bathsheba? There's Bathsheba. This is Bathsheba there. That's Bathsheba. Looks like she's gonna have a lot of lambs. She's very heavy. This is Gorgeous, nicknamed Gorgeous. And hopefully she's gonna have a lamb. She's the one, only one that doesn't look like she's in lamb. So she might not, but she might have a late one. Everything else is looking in lamb. Aggie, this is Aggie the Aga lamb. That's a little bit because she has a little bit of white on her. 
Now, she's stiff and lame because she's very arthritic. She would be, she could be 12 or 13 years old at this stage, and she's not in lamb. So that's why she looks slightly hollowed, because the other ones are looking in lamb. And this is the great white oak tree over here. Not in white oak, pfft, great oak tree. So these are going to all be housed later this week. Oh, they're having a little set to about whose packing order is something that's always sorted. Always sorted. Or, sorry, always being sorted. So most of this stock was born and bred here on the farm. The only ones that have foreign ear tags, let's see, is Becky. Everything here is bred here on the farm. And there's, Becky is the uphill lady. Bizu is the downhill lady. So those are a homebred on the left and a yo that I bought from Carlisle. Uh, number of years ago, a few years ago. And her mother I bought. So most of my stock here is homebred now. Though I do buy in yo lambs and rams to keep the bloodlines moving forward. Always looking for improvements. One of which is losing things like those sensitive to scald, and foot rot. So, there we go. Anyway, I hope that gives you a bit of information about the flock here for the smallholders.